everyone, it's Rebecca from The Glitch Stitchery. I'm here with a box opening and mini review of the interchangeable Tunisian crochet hooks from Dyak Craft. So I'm just going to get this open and we're going to talk about them. This is my second order from them. I'm going to show you my previous order. Uh, we're just going to talk about them a bit and I might do a quick little stitch just so you can see what they look like. So let's get this open. And I just got this, so I haven't opened it at all yet. Obviously, I know what's in it because I ordered it, but it should be two crochet hooks and a cable. All right, put that aside for now. All right, so. Nice little tissue paper package. I think they were packaged in the same tissue paper last time. So I ordered a purple Northern Light interchangeable Tunisian crochet hook, a silver Northern Light interchangeable Tunisian crochet hook, and a 29 inch coated wire cable. Alright. And they always come in these cute bags. Let's see if I can get it out. So this one's the silver. And this one would be the purple. I'm just gonna put them on top of their bags for right now. I don't think they like match them to specific bags, but I do keep them in the bags just to keep them from getting scratched up. So there's those, here's the cable. All right, so my previous order was these two. And they have a little logo there. So this one is the, if I can ever get it, it's stuck. There we go. This one is sugar maple, I believe the color was called. And this one, actually I guess the, okay, this one is black nickel. And now that I think about it, the sugar maple and the black nickel were two separate orders. So I guess this is my third order. This is like the most beautiful hook in the world. <laughs> Basically, um, TL Yarn Crafts had bought at least one of these at one point and I saw them in her feed and I was like, okay, I need one. So this is what drew, drew me to them in the first place. These are made in Vermont. Um, yeah, Chester, Vermont. And they're just so cool. All right, so black nickel, sugar maple, silver, and purple. And then I have cables and cable stoppers. I don't think they fit the cables of any other brand. I haven't really experimented with it much yet, but they seem to be custom. And they're just the silver part comes off and they have the screw there. Which my nickel one, I think I took the screw off by mistake, because right now it doesn't have it took the that part off. Right now it doesn't have one on it. Which uh that's probably it in here. <laughs> Not surprising. Anyway. I really love these hooks, and I'm going to show you why these are my favorite Tunisian crochet hooks. I say favorite, I have a lot of favorites, but these are definitely for real up there. So first off, it is really hard to find metal Tunisian crochet hooks that are interchangeable. They used to be more common, but nowadays this is almost it. The only other brand I can think of that does the metal ones is... Um, what is that brand called? There's only one other one, and I can't remember what it's called at the moment, but it's one of the higher end brands. And they don't have very many sizes. These are handmade in the United States, and the colors tend to be fairly limited. They just do small runs of each color at a time. So if you're looking for a full set, it's gonna take you a while, but they are really nice. 
And they do make wooden ones as well. I just didn't want any more wooden hooks. I have a few sets. Now my favorite part about these is how sharp the tip is. I can really get into the stitches that way. The colors are really nice too, obviously. Um, the black nickel is my favorite of the four, although I will say that it shows fingerprints a lot, so that is something to keep in mind. If you don't like that, you might want to go with the more matte look of the anodized ones. Oh, I love this. I hadn't actually seen the purple in person until now. It's so beautiful. I think I'll play with this one for my sample. So, I'm just going to get a little bit of yarn. And I'm just going to be lazy in how I make my knot. There's no point in fiddling with it for a sample. Now, the one thing you're gonna, gonna run into is these are on the pricier side because they're handmade and, you know, metal instead of wood. So for me, it's not a huge issue because I don't plan on buying more sizes. I am quite happy with just these ones and unless they come out with some really fantabulous colors, this is probably as many as I'm gonna get for now, but um, it is something to keep in mind. So. I think the sugar maple one was 35 and then the purple and silver were 25. I don't remember how much the black nickel one was, but it was the most expensive of the four. Um, I would have to look it up, but it, it was higher than the others. I will add a little note in here when I finish the video. It'll come up on screen too. And I mean, it, yeah, they're kind of high for hooks, but they're metal, so I'm not gonna break them the way I'm gonna break some of my wooden hooks, no matter how much pressure I put on them or how tightly I stitch. Their very sharp tip is going to stay very sharp for a long time. And also I just love the shape of the head and throat and how well they make stitches and how well the yarn slips over the stitches and. I mean, there's no real downside. They just crochet beautifully. And I know it sounds like I'm like going a little overboard in how I'm talking about them. But from the first time I learned how to Tunisian crochet, I was very frustrated that most of my options were wooden or plastic. I love metal hooks best for everything. I'll use wooden hooks. I love my Luca hooks because they also have a really nice head shape. But if I'm working with cotton, they are not necessarily pleasant to work with. I do not like using cotton on wood. It just feels like it drags and it's so slow, you know? These, no matter what I use them with, feel like they move pretty quickly. You know, for me. They probably don't look like they're moving quickly to you because I'm looking at this from a funny angle trying to crochet it's not the easiest thing in the world <laughs> it's like the camera is on a camera arm in front of my face and my hands are below the camera it's kind of like crocheting in a mirror it's a little little awkward anyway i love working with these and i think you would too now i am going to be doing some reviews of more budget friendly hooks in the future so you, if these are out of your price range, I understand and I got you. I will look at some other options for you. But if you are able, I highly recommend trying at least one of these. Because they are just so nice. And yeah, this is probably all I'm gonna get. The only other colors I could see myself adding are if they had like a turquoise or a really, really, really bright lime green. But other than that, I am quite happy with this set. So, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna go play with these some more. I think, let's see, what sizes do I have? I'm pretty sure these two are both J's and then these two are both I. No, this one might be an H. Yeah, this one's an H. But I have two J's so I can work in the round now. And that is the whole reason I wanted two of them. Um, oh, yeah, I guess there is one other thing. They don't have the sizes on them. 
So you will have to remember which sizes you bought in which color, or possibly put them in some sort of labeled case. That is really the only flaw I can think of, that there's no size printed on them or etched into them or anything. It's a, uh, I mean, with wooden ones, that bothers me more because it's pretty easy to add the, the size to wooden ones. I understand why it would be difficult to add the size to these ones specifically. So that is one thing to keep in mind as well. I think that's about it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna play with this a little bit more. And I hope that this was helpful to you, especially if you've never heard of this brand before, because they are fairly small. And thank you so much for watching.